All right, power of prayer point four. The Bible's miraculous preservation. Is that right? Oh, no, wrong section. Sorry. Three. I'm up to three. Sorry. That's, that's cruel. The Bible's unending appeal. Yeah, I can't wait to hear this. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Much better. Here we go. Books usually have short lives. So much for immortality. Damn it. Eight out of every ten books published this year will be forgotten within a year. Hey, do it anyway. Write them books. Think them thoughts. Be an original. Oh, I lost my place, sorry. <laughs> and only one in print seven years from now. Books that are 2,000 years old and uh, years old are seldom read by the general public today. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Plato, and the other posers. <clears throat> but the Bible is an exception. Its popularity has grown steadily throughout its 3,000-year history. Case closed. Checkmate. Check and mate, bitch. Well, maybe not yet. But man, that was a blow. <laughs> they almost got me now. This is wow, cool. <laughs> you might see a Christian happen right before your eyes. Maybe. It'd be a miracle. But the Bible is an exception. Its popularity has grown steadily throughout its 3,000-year history. The Bible's appeal defies all competition. It is the world's all-time best-selling book with an estimated 2.5 billion copies sold since 1815. That's progress. Millions of Bibles are printed every year. The entire Bible has been translated into, wait for it, 337 languages and Parts of it have been translated into 2,062 languages. The Bible is read throughout the world from the last tiny island in the South Pacific to the snow huts of the Arctic. That's that missionary zeal. Just help it. <sighs> the Bible speaks to all nations. It is valued by all races. It is loved by all peoples. 
all of them. And there are men throughout the entire world who would die to, to defend it. Hey, it's a pretty good read. It's a bloody good read, actually, and please read it. I'm not oppressing you. Read it! It's fine. Read it, read it, read it. Read the fucking book that you already believe in. <laughs> it's not an unreasonable request. <laughs> Double dog dare you. Read the book you already believe. From every word of it, from cover to cover, without any study guides. That's all. And there are men throughout the world who would die to defend it. Jihad. Oh, wrong one. Uh, <laughs> the appeal of the book can be explained in only one way. It is the word of God. I'm reeling. Nope, I'm still all right. We'll see if part four is up to the task of swaying me. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm working with, I'm, I'm working on it, you know. How are you doing? What do you think? Stay tuned for part four. <laughs>